Welcome back. It's a sign of the times in Lodi. Too many grapes forcing growers to take some unusual measures. Uh, 63 years now, and, and uh, I've never seen a sign put in front of a vineyard, wine grapes for sale. So one Lodi farmer is taking a creative approach to find buyers. There you see CBS 13's Steve Large. He's live with a grape glut all across the state that has vineyard owners scrambling, Steve. You know, anyone who's driven through Lodi wine country has been tempted to buy a bottle of wine or two. But the owner of this venue and this vineyard is doing something different. He's trying to sell you 200 tons of his crop, and he's getting a lot of attention. Wine grape crop for sale, Cabernet Sauvignon, Lodi, California. Jim Ayler's sales sign is like the wine that comes from his grapes, big and bold. Yeah, I just wanted to do something old fashioned that stood out. Make yourself different. Ayler's decided to put up the sign for everyone to see along Woodbridge Road in Lodi when he couldn't find a buyer for his 36 acres of wine grapes. I just thought it'd be kind of a joke and yet it might be effective and I think it's kind of neat, you know. His contract with a big winemaker wasn't renewed. Ayler's is one of many wine grape growers struggling to sell their crop this year. Well, there's just too many wine grapes on the market right now. Well, we're looking for deep color. All across the Lodi region and California, grape growers are dealing with a grape glut. The owner of this Lodi vineyard even elected to pull up the vines from his ground and roll them up to be destroyed. We need to be drinking more California wine. Stuart Spencer is executive director of the Lodi Wine Grape Commission. He says so many vineyards have been planted in Lodi and across the state, California wine grape growth has outpaced wine drinkers for now. There's, you know, a lot of wine being sold in cans now, and there's a hope that that will create more new consumers and bring more wine uh, opportunities to enjoy wine. Too many Lodi wine grapes. Uh, 63 years now, and, and uh, I've never seen a sign put in front of a vineyard, wine grapes for sale. Forcing this grower to get creative with a sign of the times. It's kind of a, a hokey thing to do, but it's working. It is working. Ayler says he's selling his crop at about half price right now. He says he won't make any money this year, but he also won't lose any money. Meantime, because of this grape glut, it's too early to tell whether it will transfer over to the price of a bottle of wine for all of us consumers. The grapes here won't end up being on store shelves in wine bottles until at least next year. Mm. You heard the man. Drink more California wine. Challenge accepted, Steve. Yes, Thank you. I'm on board. <laughs>